She is a woman with a difference. Magdalene Kesumo Manyei has two wives. Indeed, Magdalene is a husband to them. And KTN's Messi Kandia now brings us the story of an age-old Nandi cultural practice through a woman who says hers has been a happy 30 years of woman-to-woman -woman marriage. <laughs> Do not be fooled by her slow and frail strides. In the village, she walks in the capacity of a man. Gogo, as they call her, which is in Kalenjin to mean grandmother, is married to two women, an anti-cultural practice that allows a barren woman to marry another woman. Daughter. <laughs> One of the main reasons for female to female marriages among the Nandi community is to give the barren woman a chance to get children, a process referred to as Kilal Mat, the willingness to procreate. Gogo Magdalene was married to the son of Koitalel Arab Samoe, the renowned Nandi leader who fought the colonialist. But aside from that, she had no other pride, so she used the opportunity provided by the cultural practice. Gogo married not one, but two wives, getting 12 children and 20 grandchildren. <laughs> No sexual relation is allowed. The woman that Gogo marries gets a male suitor with whom they bear children, but the children belong to Gogo Magdalene. Gogo is the sole provider for the new family. The 95-year-old holds firmly the position of a man. The process allows her to attend initiation ceremonies that are exclusive to men. Attend Baraza while being regarded as a man. At home, both wives live in harmony. Most of the families in Yawako na Baba, unapata wengine wako na mafarukano, nini, nini, pigana, nini, kiesi ya sayote. Lakini kwetu zilikuwa ni kama mama na mstanaga kuishi kwa boma. Sasa umeawa watundili. The wives are expected to take good care of Gogo as she ages. Her sense of humor is clear. She believes it's a cultural practice that should have continuity with the current generation. The cultural practice also allows the husband of the barren woman to marry another woman. Barren Kalenjin women were not divorced but were instead allowed to marry after undergoing some rituals and after attaining menopause and thereafter not allowed to sleep with any man including her husband. Hello. Masi Kandie, KTN, Wasingishu County.